Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In the previous video, we have seen what is course. And in this video, let us look at three different scenarios of course. These are the three scenarios. First one is a simple request. Second one is a pre-flighted request. Third one is a request with credentials. These are the three different scenarios we will encounter when we are using the course. So before understanding the three scenarios, we need to understand these two things. First one is the simple request and second one is the custom request. If you can remember in our earlier videos, we have seen what is request and what is response, right? So request is a combination or a collection of different different things like what is the method type and what are the headers and what is the URL and what is the payload. So like this, these are all the part of request, right? Here also we are showing few things. You can see left side. You can see here we have a method and here we have a headers. Okay. So we have listed three method types here, get, head and post. And in headers, we have listed few headers here. So if your request is having any one of these, we can say that is a simple request. Okay. Let us take an example like if you are doing a get call from your script or Angular application. Suppose from your Angular application, you are calling your web API uh, endpoint and that method type is a get okay get or post i can say that is a simple request if the method type is a delete okay that is not a simple request that will become a custom request so any method type which is not part of this thing is a custom request okay so any method type which is part of these three we can say that is a simple request you can see here these are the other types apart from the simple request headers also you can see custom headers so any request is having method type from this list and headers from this list will become a simple request and if any request is having the method type and headers not from this list not from this list and anything from this list and outside this list we can consider that as a custom request okay so i think now you understood what is a simple request and custom request so we can we can apply two of our core scenarios here so first scenario is a simple request scenario right so we can apply simple request scenario for this simple request and pre-flighted scenario we can apply for the custom request okay so we can consider simple request will be applicable to simple request here and pre-flighted request will be applicable to the custom request here okay let us see how the simple request and custom request will work this one is the simple request simple request came before course okay first simple request came into the market and next course came into the market some requests don't trigger a course pre-flight so as we have discussed earlier in the previous screen if your request is simple request and your request is using simple method types and simple headers simple is nothing but the headers or method types are well known to the web application or w3 standard okay so those things will not trigger a pre-flight if your headers and method types are custom or anything which is i can say delete is a little bit expensive operation right it is a little bit expensive operation in case of delete pre-flight will be triggered also if you are sending custom headers like so uh, the location or the user id username if you are putting all these things in the custom headers we can say in that case also pre-flight will be triggered in case of cross site form submission server will be protecting against csrf okay there are two things course and csrf csrf is nothing but cross site request forgery 
when your server is validating csrf no need to validate the pre-flight request because csrf is more dangerous than the course so if the server is validating the csrf so no need of uh, pre-flight request so in that case pre-flight will be ignored but server will add course header in the response and sends it so always irrespective of csrf or pre-flight or anything irrespective of any scenario server will put course header so that is nothing but access control allow origin and here you can see after colon there is a star star is nothing but allowing all origins so if you put star you are allowing all you are allowing all origins if you don't want to allow all origins you can put a specific origin name here okay that's the last point let me show you how it works so here is a client and here is the server so server can be our web api application client can be angular application so here i i have sent a request to the server this is the request that is the origin you can see this is a get call and server sends the response and you can see the response is a success status 200 okay along with that success status you can see there is a header added access control allow origin colon star so that is a course header added into your response and sends to the client and next one you can see we have already discussed if you want to allow only particular origins you can put like this instead of star so instead of star you can put your origin name like this so if you want to allow multiple you can put comma separated okay and this one is with credentials you can see request with credentials so everything is same like uh, earlier simple request but here you cannot put star in the place of in the place of this particular origin name you cannot put star so when you are using request with credentials you have to put a, a particular specific domain name you cannot put a star you cannot put all okay so that's one thing you need to notice here and let's look at the pre-flight request unlike simple request for pre-flighted request the browser first sends an http request using the options method to the resource on the other origin so in order to determine if the actual request is safe to send or not okay so here it is saying so instead of sending the main request directly it will send the pre-flighted request so to put uh, to check whether the request is safe or not to accept okay so with the method type options let us see how it works so the server is a web api server and the client is angular application and the client sends the request and you can see here the method type is a options not the actual method type so when you can see a method of type options consider that is a pre-flighted request okay and this is the origin and this one server sends the response with a 204 204 is nothing but success but no content okay so this one is sending the success response you can see there is a origin put in the header course header access control allow origin course header value here is the domain name and this one as we can see it is options we can call this as a pre-flight request when this pre-flight request gets the success response then the browser will make main actual request main request okay you can see it is of type get type okay this is the origin and the server sends the response 200 okay here also you can see the course header added with the a particular origin name and we can call this as the main request okay in case of pre-flighted request 
we can see two different requests made to the server first one is the pre-flight and second one is the main okay so here we have discussed in case of pre-flight we have received success and the main request is made to the server what if we get the failure request so let us see so server uh, client sends the request and that request had the custom headers okay and server will process those custom headers whether uh, the dangerous values are there or suspicious values are there or not so if everything goes well then it will send the success response then it browser can make main request if something is suspicious in those custom headers or methods if something is suspicious server sends the failure request it can be anything 500 or 404 bad request server sends the 404 bad request so in the pre-flighted request if we receive failures like this the main request will not be put to the server okay the main request will be cancelled because that is a bad request so in the pre-flight server validated the custom headers or the custom values then it decided it is not a safe to accept that's why it sends back the 404 bad request so because of that bad request or failure request the main request will be ignored or cancelled okay so that is how pre-flighted requests will work okay the same scenarios i will show you in practical in the next video for more videos like this please like share and subscribe if you have any questions please ask in the comment box thank you for watching